Hi there, welcome back to another satellite video. This time I'm on with the weather satellites. I did one a little bit earlier and uh, NOAA 19 is now in range. It's orbiting the Earth, it's a low Earth orbiting satellite and I'm using WX to IMG decoding software which is on my PC and that's on Windows 10. So it's just an old computer with an old uh, decoding software package and it works with the uh, input signal coming out of the audio of the radio straight into the sound card. You can hear it in the background. So let's take a quick look and see what the image is coming through like on 137 megahertz. So the screen's decoding nicely as the uh, satellite's passing over the Atlantic, just um, to the west of Ireland. And the signal's coming in in black and white. So that's the regular image reception quality as we decode this site. It will get converted and uh, cleaned up at the end of the run. So I'm using the ham radio equipment which is the Yesu FT847. It's actually connected to my computer with a uh, USB lead uh, straight into the cat port of the radio which allows the radio to be controlled using some tracking software which is SAT PC32. That uh, steers the actual frequency of the reception automatically and it also uh, controls the rotator system putting the antenna in the correct position at all times. So that's the signal strength coming in on the meter. Right now I'm getting about a signal 7. Uh, the center line that's varying is the uh, FM frequency discriminator which is indicating that we're pretty relatively on the correct receive frequency. You can see the frequencies dropping down automatically. That's the Doppler correction of the reception as we receive this satellite. And the image is still coming in nicely, so we'll get a clear image uh, once we clean it up. I'll just move that out of the way, and um, we will we'll be able to see the full picture as the reception has completed. So, pretty much, I'm using the same satellite antenna as I always use it's the uh, Loop Federer, mainly made for 145 megahertz, but it works very well on 137 on the weather satellite reception. And it's been steered by the G5500 Yesu rotator, which again is connected to the same software, SAT PC32. On the other side of the boom, you can see my 437 satellite array, which I use for the amateur radio bands. But right now we're operating off this particular antenna system, the Loop Fed array made by Innov. It's five elements and it's in an X configuration, producing a circular polarized pattern. So the software is connected to the radio and to the antenna system controlling both. So yeah still getting a good signal coming in and the satellite now is uh, at a reasonable distance 2250 miles from my location and it's at a height of 863 miles above the earth with a large footprint so yeah the signal's just dropping off slightly as we uh, start to get the back end of the pass. So the satellite's still coming in nicely, it's NOAA 19, currently one of three active birds, we've got NOAA 15, NOAA 18 and NOAA 19. North American weather satellites providing information for radio amateurs, uh, radio enthusiasts, maritime shipping personnel and uh, anyone who generally needs the information of the current weather and obviously it's a live imagery so we're getting to the end of the pass you can see the sat pc32 software is just on the footprint the edge of it the distance is currently 3150 miles from my location that's the position of NOAA 19 around about 850 860 feet uh, uh, miles should i say above the earth so in deep space so that's about it, we'll just take a quick look at the image and see how it cleans up and hopefully we'll get a good uh, picture for you to have a look at the end result. Thanks for watching so far. Just working, waiting for the uh, processing to happen on that particular image. It's delayed at the minute because I've got an immediate next pass coming up from NOAA 18. So this one's operating on uh, 137915 roughly. It'll start slightly higher and uh, that should be coming quite nicely as it goes straight over uh, north of my location just north uh, east and it's going to be a very high elevation so we'll just have a quick look at that one 
Uh, once that one's passed, I'll then have two images to process up and clean up and see what the end result looks like. So keep watching and let's take a look at the next uh, pass of NOAA 18 coming up right now. So my antenna is just about starting to move and uh, the rotator system will position itself to the north now. Uh, currently pointing roughly around about 5-6 degrees. So we're just going to wait for the signal to come in. You can hear it breaking the squelch as it's getting in but it's not quite readable to decode yet. The software will start automatically decoding shortly. So as you can see the reception's already uh, coming in from NOAA 18 on 137916 wide FM. I've changed the image of the uh, tracking software to the right. It's uh, currently in a globe view showing the path of the satellite and the size of the footprint. Uh, so anywhere in range of the footprint should be able to receive this particular satellite which is NOAA 18 North American satellite for weather observation so we've got a range of 2000 miles coming, coming closer as the uh, the satellite heads over Norway heading in my direction which is just here I'm in the center of the United Kingdom I'm just going to change the window so the imagery is coming up nice the signals reasonable we're getting an S5 signal strength currently so a nice clean transmission running this radio the Yesu as usual the FT847 currently up to our S7 and like I said earlier fully controlled using the automated uh, tracking software SAT PC32 free download and you can uh, register it also and the WX to IMG uh, decoding software is also another free software and like I said I'm running Windows 10 on a, on a normal PC tower with the sound card input being fed from the audio out of the radio which is just currently plugged into my earphone socket So yeah, it's quite a slow decode. Nothing happens quickly on these satellite passes, but they are traveling very fast. So the antenna's moving quickly, relatively. And um, it's quite a clean image so far we're getting. So it'll be interesting to see what both images actually end up cleaning up like once the auto processing is completed and the uh, additional colors are added and the contrast elements are cleaned up and all that kind of affair so yeah that's the antenna moving and as you can hear the signal still coming in great so we're virtually halfway through this particular pass got quite a, a nice signal and a nice image coming up on the screen so far so this one's now at 18 and uh, yeah it's going really well So yeah, this one's coming in great. Really clear, black and white image, original raw recording. And this will clean up excellent when it's finally being processed. Still got a reasonable way to go. This particular bird is a very nice pass for me. So we're getting a, we're gonna get a good large area of uh, Northeast Europe and Atlantic on the screen. Get a decent second image We'll be able to have a look at the first image we've got on NOAA 19 and then have a look at the second image come across from NOAA 18 see if there's any change of position of uh, the weather pattern which really I'm no weather expert but I certainly do enjoy decoding 
these uh, FM weather satellites. Hope you're enjoying it too. So the current position, as you can see, it's now heading south and uh, we've got a lower elevation, around about 12 degrees. Uh, this is the little interface unit that controls the radio, uh, the rotator system, the COM232B, which is actually powering the elevation azimuth control unit. So yeah, a complete change of direction now as we, uh, like I say, head southwards uh, to the odds the end of the pass of NOAA 18. So signal losing its strength, we've almost reached the end. So yeah, it's been a busy uh, hour, I would say. I've got the next one immediately in after that one, which is NOAA 15. This one's only gonna last for one minute. It's actually currently passing at a very um, low elevation. So we may get a bit of a reception coming up, but it's currently over the, over, looking at that, it's over, over Greenland. So I'm actually receiving this uh, at a range of 2,665 miles. So once this one's passed, the auto processing will take place on the uh, WX to IMG software. And that's when I can have a look at the proper final result and share it with you. Thanks for watching everything so far. And uh, if you want to get into the satellite weather uh, decoding, you don't need a fancy radio. Anything which operates on 137 megahertz on FM will work fine. A handheld plugged into your laptop would do the job. Uh, some people use the SDR dongles, which obviously they're pretty cheap and uh, they're pretty good as well. So they've got decent receive on those. It's all down to the antenna. You can operate uh, homemade, uh, simple upward facing antenna systems and get reasonable results on these 137 megahertz FM satellites. So I'm just going to wait for this one to complete its pass and then I will be able to have a look and see what my final result is. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope you've enjoyed some of this. I know it's quite a long one but I just thought I'd uh, demonstrate other sides of ham radio or just general radio so you can uh, maybe have a little go yourself and try it out. So the, uh, pr the processing has started and it's currently working on the first image we received which is NOAA 19. So that's pretty good, I'm happy with that. Uh, it puts all the information in, the speckles and stuff. So it's just on with uh, the final touches, adds a little bit of colour. It's fairly quick depending on the, s the speed of your computer obviously. And uh, it's looking okay so far. So that's the result as we're seeing it live from the shack of M0 YKS. And that one is looking quite successful. So I'm pretty pleased with that so far as you can see. A good uh, reception, that's the infrared side of it, showing you where the cloud is, containing moisture I believe, and um, yeah, that's the enhanced colour end result on that one, which is uh, the first one we see, which is NOAA 19. So I'd say that was more successful than the earlier video I made, uh, just building and uh, putting a little bit of a thumbnail together now, and uh, the next one coming up should be... Uh, NOAA 18 which came through nicely so this is just uh, finishing off the first one for you and that's the first one completed so nice result and you can see there's a weather pattern forming in the Atlantic and um, we're still receiving the uh, signals from NOAA 15 actually which is 3200 miles away you can hear it in the background so right now we're just moving to the next one which is NOAA 18 so we're going to build the um, image on this one uh, currently rece received uh, in black and white format so again a nice pass you can see south of Spain and um, got a good sweep on that one so we'll just take a look at this as it as it adds the additional um, clarity and contrast and then the the colors to the end result of NOAA 18 so it's processing right now takes a few moments as you saw earlier and uh, yeah quite happy with the results so far so now we're despeckling and we can see the reception has uh, cleaned up really nicely uh, so fairly dark image but there we've added the the borders of the countries to obviously make it a bit easier to work out what we're looking at so we can see North Africa we've got um, the Balearic Islands we've got some we've got Sicily we've got Italy and uh, that's where the heat is at right now so we're looking at that part as it's added in for the infrared coming up next and then we've got the colour so we can see the cloud formation over the United Kingdom uh, that's where I'm positioned so now we're just waiting for the next overlay 
and uh, a little bit of clarity and colour added so we can clearly see the cloud pattern there so a different view on this one more of a European view as we are in the false colour and uh, so far so good that's the full infrared and the despeckling cleaning the image up for the finalisation which is coming up as we scroll up and down so that's NOAA 18 so we've still got a little bit of clarity to add to this image but again very clean reception on this 137 megahertz FM satellite NOAA 18 uh, long video this time but a full explanation of how we do it here in the shack using the WX or IMG software which like I said earlier is free so looking good working fine you just got to make sure you update your Kepler elements using a separate program it's all explained on the WX to IMG website you install that first and download the Keplers which keeps the satellite position current and uh, yeah I'm really pleased with the results on this one so that's the the original raw image cleaned up from the black and white version just uh, building the map now for the next one which I'm not that bothered about it'll be uh, number 15 that one won't be so good because I only received a little bit of that so this one's particularly clean and uh, yeah great result so I'm just gonna stop the processing and uh, take a quick look through the images that we've received today and uh, let you have a proper look so you can you get the uh, actual um, build up of all the images oops, uh, when they're completed uh, in the old database of your PC so this was the uh, NOAA 18 image which we just looked at very nice and finally we'll have a quick look at the 19 image uh, some good stuff you can check out the different views obviously so you can go back through it all and uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with, with what we've received today so thank you very much for watching the video as usual and uh, why not try out some of the FM satellite uh, decoding uh, yourself I know there is a few uh, Russian satellites which also operate on the same frequency so I hope you've had fun watching this quite a long one and I'll catch you up with you so don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like this kind of thing and you don't want to miss out uh, hit the like button as well drop us a comment maybe uh, tell me about your experiences decoding the weather sats and keep up the good work. We'll catch up with you again. Have a great day. And I'm going to go enjoy the sunshine. 73 from M0 YKS. Weather satellite decoding. Noah 19 and 18. 73.